You know, there's nothing quite like candlelight to give a room a certain ambience, but there's a few tips that might be helpful when you're using candlelight in your home that I'd like to share with you. For instance, I'm crazy about using votives of all kinds because they come in so many different ways and you can use them in lots of different situations. But one of the problems that I have is that often the wax will adhere to the inside of the glass holder, as you can see here. Uh, all you have to do is take a couple of drops of water before you put the candle in and put in the bottom of the holder and then drop the candle in. And do that just before you light the votive because you don't want the candle to sit in water for a long period of time because what will happen is the wick will absorb the water and it'll be difficult to light the candle. The other thing you want to do, if you have beautiful um, containers like this, this is a glassy baby, you want to protect them. And I don't put a candle like this directly in these um, glass holders. I take the votives that come, these little tea candles, that come with the aluminum base on them. This protects the glass holder and you don't get wax on the inside of these. These are really quite beautiful. And one other point about votives, if you get wax stuck in one like this, don't take a sharp knife and try to cut it out. It's much better to um, soak these in hot water and they'll slide out much easier. Then you can clean the glass holder. If you run a knife down through the sides, you do two things. One, you run the risk of cutting yourself. And if you scratch the glass, it can make the glass more vulnerable to shattering uh, once a votive candle is put in there and the heat penetrates it. So be careful with that. I also enjoy using taper and pillar candles. Now they can come in either the form of beeswax or paraffin. The difference between beeswax and paraffin candles is that the beeswax candle is made from uh, a byproduct of, of the bees making honey and so it's very natural and burns cleanly. Now what's interesting is they're going to be more expensive. This is the natural color of beeswax. Paraffin candles on the other hand uh, release um, certain chemicals into the air. I like to use a lot of different types of holders, everything from formal um, telescopic holders like this that can be raised and lowered. Uh, to using tapers in something as simple as a piece of fruit, like just putting it in an apple like this. It's great for holiday decorating. A little bit of whimsy there. The other thing I like to do with pillars and tapers uh, is to use a hurricane shade because if there's any draft in the house, you'll find that uh, the, the taper will spill wax down one side and can burn much more rapidly and the wax will spill out onto your furniture. So by using a hurricane, you, you protect the flame from a draft or a breeze and so that, that stops. And I always like to keep them on some sort of base, even outside. And what I like to do when using them outdoors is to take uh, a saucer from just a plain old terracotta pot and use it as the base for a pillar candle and a hurricane. And in situations like this, you get both the base and you get sort of a hurricane effect with a tall votive, if you will, and these are excellent for using outdoors. Well, I hope you'll enjoy using candles in your home, but always use them safely. If you found these tips helpful, share them with a friend and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.